Good morning, boys and girls. Put on your lab coats today, because today is full of science and volcanoes for the letter V. But before we do that, let's all start by singing our morning song. Hello, everybody. Glad to see you. Clap your hands and show you're glad to see me too. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands. Clap your hands and show you're glad to see me too. Roll it out. Hello, everybody. Glad to see you. Stamp your feet and show you're glad to see me too. Stamp your feet, everybody. Stamp your feet. Stamp your feet and show you're glad to see me too. Clap your hands and show you're glad to see me too. Roll it out. Hello, everybody. Glad to see you. Shake your hips and show you're glad to see me too. Shake your hips, everybody. Shake your hips. Shake your hips and show you're glad to see me too. Stamp your feet and show you're glad to see me too. Clap your hands and show you're glad to see me too. Roll it out. Hello, everybody. Glad to see you. Nod your head and show you're glad to see me too. Nod your head, everybody. Nod your head. Nod your head and show you're glad to see me too. Shake your hips and show you're glad to see me too. Stamp your feet and show you're glad to see me too. Clap your hands and show you're glad to see me too. Roll it out. Hello everybody, glad to see you. Blink your eyes and show you're glad to see me too. Blink your eyes everybody, blink your eyes. Blink your eyes and show you're glad to see me too. Nod your head and show you're glad to see me too. Shake your hips and show you're glad to see me too. Stamp your feet and show you're glad to see me too. Hi boys and girls, continue standing. Can anybody tell me what this is? Yes, you're right, it's the American flag. And what color is it? Red, white, and blue. Put your right hand over your heart and say the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated, boys and girls. Boys and girls, could anybody tell me the name of the month? It's April, let's spell it, A-P-R-I-L. And what do we say about the weather in April? April showers bring May flowers. And we've certainly seen a lot of April showers, okay? If yesterday was Tuesday, what comes after Tuesday? Monday, Tuesday, you're right, it's Wednesday. Let's say the days of the week and put our hands up on Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the days of the week. Start each day with a smile, make each day full of fun, so let's make each and every day a very, very special one. One, two, three, let's go. Monday, Tuesday, hands up. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the days of the week. That's one. That's two, the days of the week. We're going to sing it again. We're going to put our hands up on the air place. Miércoles means Wednesday in Spanish. Let's go. Lunes, martes, 
miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo, the days of the week, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo, the days of the week, start each day with us, make each day full of fun, so let's make each and every day a very, very special one. One, mm. two, three. <laughs> Martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. The days of the week. That's one. That's two. That's three. Okay, boys and girls. We know it's April, we know it's Wednesday. Let's count for the number of the day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Today is Wednesday, April twenty-second, two thousand and twenty. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to sing a song about all the lands, okay? And then I'm going to tell you something really special about all the lands. North America, South America, Europe too, Europe too. Africa, Asia, Australia, Africa, Asia, Australia, Antarctica, Antarctica. Now, boys and girls... This is week V, the week for letter V. And volcanoes start with letter V. And the most volcanoes in the world are in Antarctica. So let's talk a little bit about volcanoes, okay? A volcano looks like a mountain that sits on the top of the earth, but way down deep, there's a tunnel in a volcano way down deep in the earth, 1,800 miles down. It's very, very hot. And rock down there melts, and it's called magna. And when the rock and the gases get too much, they come up through the hole, and they explode. They come up from here, and they explode outside the top of a volcano. And do you know what it's called when they come out? It's called lava. Lava comes out of a volcano. Magna from the middle of the earth turns into liquid rock and comes out of the volcano. And that's when a volcano erupts. That's when it's called when a volcano erupts. Now, do you know there's volcanoes all over the world, but the most, the place where there are the most volcanoes is in Antarctica. And you want to know another important fact? There are volcanoes on Mars. Way up in the solar system, there is a huge volcano on Mars. Now, when this lava comes out, do you think it's hot or do you think it's cold? You're right, it's hot. It's very hot. It's over 700 degrees and can go up to 1,300 degrees. So when that lava comes out of the volcanoes, when the volcano erupts, and the lava comes out. It's very, very hot. Now, we're going to show you a volcano erupting right inside our classroom. We're going to make a volcano erupt just like this. From down deep in the earth, the volcano is going to heat up and spit out hot lava. Now, you're going to have, you can make a paper like this. You have one of these um, online that you can make a copy of or you can just make a paper that looks like that and color it brown because volcanoes are kind of brownish, okay? And then this is what you're going to do. You're going to take a crayon, take the paper off the crayon, and this is very important. You're going to tape it down tight on your paper. You're going to tape it down really tight because if you don't tape it down t tight, it will roll all over the place and it will be very messy. 
Now, after you do that, you could do some red crayons if you want, or you can do some orange or yellow because those are the kind of colors that looks like when, it, when the lava comes out of the volcano. Now, something else very important. When this volcano erupts, it erupts and it splatters. So make sure wherever you're doing it that you have something in the background. I just put some paper there so if the volcano erupts, it doesn't get my wall all messy. Okay, now what did we say um, lava was? Lava, oops, we got wires tangled here. Lava is when magna from the center of the earth gets heated and spits out of the volcano or erupts. So we are gonna pretend and we are gonna make this volcano, V is for volcano, we are gonna make this volcano erupt by putting heat on it. This is my fair dryer. as you can see from deep down inside the earth the magna got hot and came out and spurted out the tunnel on the top of the volcano and our volcano has erupted now boys and girls listen closely i'm going to get a jacket on and i'm going to go outside meet me in my backyard because i heard a volcano is going to erupt back there see you in a few boys and girls I got word that there's a volcano ready to erupt in my backyard and we're gonna help it along. We're gonna do a volcano experiment, okay? Let's see the volcano. The first thing we're gonna need to help it erupt is ordinary water. I'm gonna pour some water into the volcano. Okay. Then I'm going to pour some dish soap, dish soap into the volcano. And a very important ingredient, baking soda. Now these are all things you can find at home. to it to see. 
see if it'll erupt better. Let's see. And then some red paint. We're gonna add some red paint, but you don't need paint if you don't have it at home. Don't worry about it. Might not have it here at school either. Take a stick and mix up that potion. Mix it really good. Okay, now the final ingredient is vinegar that starts with the letter V. Let's see what happens. My goodness, that volcano is erupting all over in Comac, New York. Boys and girls, and that is Backyard Science with Miss Rosemary. Now, you could do this at home or with your parents. All you need is vinegar and water and dish soap and baking soda. Now remember, backyard science, a volcano has erupted in Miss Rosemary's backyard. The thing Miss Rosemary is gonna add is some water to the volcano. Okay. And then Miss Rosemary is gonna add some dish soap, just a little. And then Miss Rosemary is going to add some baking soda. going to happen. I see it starting to bubble. And then Miss Rosemary's going to mix it up. Oh, it looks like something could be happening. And then Miss Rosemary's going to add the magic ingredient, vinegar. And let's see what happens to this volcano? Oh my goodness, the volcano is erupting. Whoa, look at that volcano go. Oh my goodness, that volcano is erupting today. Till next time, goodbye.